Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about annotating a PDF on the iPad. And by annotate I mean make marks on a document, make, take notes, that sort of thing on an existing document. There's lots of ways to do that. There's apps like iAnnotate, PDF Pen, PDF Expert. The one I tend to use the most just because that's what I use for everything else is called Goodreader. So I'm going to start up Good, Goodreader here down in my doc. And you can see I've got a PDF here ready to go. So let's just open that up. And so I'm looking at this document here. And let's say I want to make some notes. There's some, some words I, I want to cross out. Maybe I want to get rid of a whole paragraph. Uh, maybe that some things I want to highlight and some other notes I want to make. So what I do is I just tap on the screen, which will bring up Goodreader's little menu bar. And what I'm going to do is I, I am going to, let's say I want to highlight some, some words. So I'm, over here, I'm going to choose the highlighting tool. And since it's the first time I'm working with this document, it's asking me, do I want to save it directly to this file? Or do I want to create a copy of that file, leaving my original untouched? In this case, usually what I do is just save to the same file personally. But in this case, I'm going to create a copy. It's up to you what you want to do. And now we've got our highlight highlighter ready. And let's say I want to highlight that word. So I just tap on it. And let's say I want to highlight this whole paragraph. And it missed a few words, but you get the idea. So now up here at the top, I can either undo those changes, I can cancel it all, or I can just hit save. So I'm going to hit save. Most of these other tools are exactly the same. So we can underline some words. So let's say I want to underline furnace underline OCR, I'll save it. And let's say I want to get rid of a paragraph. So I'm going to tap on this strike through. And I'm just going to draw my line right through that paragraph and hit save. You can do all this with your finger. I, I find that annotation is a bit easier if you use a stylus. There's lots of different styluses out there. Uh, so use whichever one you're most comfortable with. Now I have to admit, oh yeah, you can do some other things like you can draw arrows. So I'll use the arrow, to, arrow tool. You just use your finger to, to drag it to where you want to point it to. Hit done. Now I have to admit, most of the time, I do use these tools sometimes, but most of the time because I'm lazy, I just tend to write on the page itself. So down here at the bottom, you have a freehand tool. So using my stylus, I usually just write, you know, change and draw an arrow. And I find that it's the fastest for me if I don't want to highlight certain things. Now, Goodreader has this interesting feature that's found usually on more fully featured note taking applications. Down here at the very bottom, I can tap this little icon here and it will bring up a window which makes it a lot easier to write. So what I'm going to do is see how there's this there's this colored this white area here at black. Basically what this do, this is it does is it's a zoomer. So it tells me where I'm going to write and in this section down at the bottom now I can write reword paragraph. And when I'm done, I just hit save. So that is how to annotate a page in Goodreader. Some other things you can do. You can tap on the document. You can choose this text icon here called the typewriter and type in a blank space and type. You can type something in. I do this all the time too. And you can see here, if we want to change or move pretty much any annotation, we just long tap on it. So hold your finger on it. And then you can move it around. And then you also have some other options. You can move it. You can delete it. You can change the size of the text, that sort of thing. You can do that with almost any of these annotation tools. So that's how you annotate a document on Goodreader on the iPad. 
For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks!